Today, I started working as a cleaner at a hostel. I'm not officially registered to work yet because of my visa status. Well, not really. I'm not registered because I still haven't sent them a copy of my visa, because I'm afraid they'll think my status is complicated. But this has nothing to do with cleaning toilets. Or it has everything to do with it. The hostel's name is Looking Glass. Dusty kitsch portraits of Alice, the Mad Hatter, and the Queen hang on its sky-blue walls. It says, we're all med air, in ugly letters down one whole side of the room, and there's a huge kaleidoscope mirror on the other. When I walked in, a couple of pale and tall people, tattooed and pierced, were behind the bar, which is also the reception desk, talking about their wild weekends. I asked for Ali, my trainer for the day. I found him in the storage room, which is also the changing room. Ali is a Turkish graduate student who works three extra jobs so he can afford to be an unpaid lecturer at a university here. He's a barista, a delivery guy, and a cleaner. We kind of look alike, except we don't. Well, we're both Turkish, and we both have dark hair. First, we looked up how many checkouts there were today, using the company app on the androids assigned to us. Then we went to the Putzkammer to fill up our cleaning baskets. Things we must put in our cleaning baskets. Yellow cleaning cloths for the shelves in each room. Yellow sponges. Or were they pink? Blue cloths and blue sponges for sure, for the toilets. Tea towels, also for the toilets. Mops. An empty IKEA bag for the dirty mops. Two spray bottles, one blue, one pink. First pink, then blue, like ladies first. Welcome to the bottom of the immigrant hierarchy, Ali said, handing me a pair of yellow latex gloves. He explained how at the end of every shift we must refill the spray bottles and put them on the shelves where they belong. We must put each dirty sponge, cloth, and tea towel into its own dirty basket. We must throw used bed sheets and bath towels into the laundry room through the little window in the basement. If we find anything that looks valuable, we must take it to the lost and found basket behind the reception. But if we find small things like bottles with fond, shampoos, or food left in the common kitchens after the guests have checked out, we can take them home. In Ali's words, there are treasures to keep. <laughs>